Hi, welcome to EPT Part Sala Spanish. We are in the paper entitled Advanced Spanish Grammar. I am Gaurav Kumar and I teach Spanish in the Center of Spanish, Portuguese, Italian, and Latin American Studies in Jawaharlal Nehru University, New Delhi. The title of this module is Conjunction 1. In this module and the next one, we shall see various conjunctions and their functions in the Spanish language along with their equivalents in the English language. A native speaker of the language makes complex sentence formations and fairly larger ones using linking words. The words that help to add such clauses and sentences are called conjunctions, which on their own do not make any sense. In Spanish, they are called conjunciones, and there are two broad categories. One, conjunciones coordinantes. Their function is to link words and independent sentences. The second category is called conjunciones subordinantes. They connect the dependent clause or sentence with the principal clause or sentence. Let's start with the first category of con conjunciones coordinantes, which has further subcategories. 1. Conjunciones copulativas. These conjunctions express addition or accumulation. They can link words and sentences. They are E, A, Ni, Ni. I repeat, they are E, A, which both mean and, and Ni, Ni, which means neither nor. Let us see some examples to understand these concepts. First, El Pozo es un animal grande, peludo y perezoso. I repeat, El Pozo es un animal grande, peludo y perezoso. In English, it is translated as Beard is a big, hairy, and lazy animal. Another example is Solo bebe cerveza y ve la tele todo el día. I mean, Solo bebe cerveza y ve la tele todo el día. In English, it is He just drinks beer and watches TV the whole day. A is the same as E, just that it is used before words starting with E or HI because H is silent in Spanish. Let us see some examples. Estudio Español e Hindi en el colegio. I mean, Estudio Español e Hindi en el colegio. In English, it is to be translated as I study Spanish and Hindi at school. Another example is Padres e hijos. I repeat, Padres e hijos. Parents and children. Another example, Guapo e inteligente. Guapo 
de inteligente en inglés handsome and intelligent the words me me act as conjunction and here are some examples mi kwan mi su mujer nos enteraron del robo en su casa i repeat mi kwan mi su mujer se enteraron del robo en su casa in english it will be translated as neither john nor his wife came to know about the theft in their house so 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 me me is also used as conjunction and means neither not let us see some examples to understand it better ni kwan ni su mujer se enteraron del robo en su casa i need ni kwan ni su mujer se enteraron del robo en su casa this in english is translated as neither john nor his wife came to know about the theft in their house next example por dos días no comimos ni descansamos en el viaje i repeat por dos días no comimos ni descansamos en el viaje in english it is translated as for two days we didn't eat nor rest on the journey coming to the next subcategory conjunciones disyuntivas these conjunctions link words or sentences to indicate selection of one of the options that are offered these are o u o means or either and u also means or let us see some examples to understand how they function ke te apetece tomar cafe o te i repeat ¿Qué te apetece tomar? ¿Café o té? In English, it is translated as What do you want to have? Coffee or tea? Next example. Hoy es cumpleaños de mamá. Podemos preparar una torta o bien le compramos un regalo. I repeat, hoy es cumpleaños de mamá. Podemos preparar una torta o bien le compramos un regalo. The English version is, it is mom's birthday today. We can make a cake or we can buy her a present. Another sentence is, o nos dices lo que pasó de verdad o vas a sentirlo. I read, o nos dices lo que pasó de verdad o vas a sentirlo. In English, it is translated as, either you tell us what really happened or you are going to regret it. Another example, Necesito siete u ocho días más para terminar el trabajo. I repeat, necesito siete u ocho días más para terminar el trabajo. In English, it is translated as, I need seven or eight days more to finish the work. Next sentence. Se celebrará 
la próxima reunión en el mes de septiembre u octubre. Allí se celebrará la próxima reunión en el mes de septiembre u octubre. In English, it is translated as the next meeting will be held in September or October. Coming to the next subcategory, conjunciones distributivas. These conjunctions bring together different options. For example, ya ya, now now, bien bien. Either or, uno una, otro otra, one another. Let us see some examples to understand these conjunctions in a better way. Estos días ya hace sol y ya llueve. I read, estos días ya hace sol y ya llueve. In English, these days, now it's sunny, and next moment, it's raining. Another example. Ana es una chica rara. Bien está contenta, bien se pone triste. I repeat. Ana es una chica rara. Bien está contenta, bien se pone triste. In English. It is to be translated as Anna is a strange girl. Now she is happy. Now she is sad. Another example. Mis dos hermanas son totalmente opuestas. Una estudia todo el día y la otra duerme todo mucho. Mis dos hermanas son totalmente opuestas. Una estudia todo el día y la otra duerme mucho. In English, it is translated as My two sisters are complete opposites. One studies the whole day and the other sleeps a lot. Let us come to the next set of conjunctions called conjunciones explicativas. These conjunctions join sentences that the second half clarifies or explains the first half. These are es decir, that is, o sea, that is, in other words, esto es, that is, let us see some examples to understand the functioning of these conjunctions in a better fashion. Los seres humanos son omnívoros, es decir, comemos de todo. I repeat, los seres humanos son omnívoros, es decir, comemos de todo. In English, it is translated as Human beings are omnivores, that is, we eat everything. Next sentence. Me llamó para decir que estaba enfermo, o sea, que no iba a la fiesta. I repeat. Me llamó para decir que estaba enfermo, o sea, que no iba a la fiesta. In English, it is translated as, She called me to say that she was sick. In other words, she wasn't coming to the party. Next sentence is, Estos zapatos no son solo para deportes. Esto es, que los puedes llevar para cualquier ocasión. I repeat, Estos zapatos no son solo para deportes. Esto es, que los puedes llevar para cualquier ocasión. In English, it is translated as, These shoes are not just for sports. 
that is you can wear them anywhere next set of conjunctions are conjunciones adversativas these conjunctions function to show opposition between the elements of the sentence generally they reject or negate the first and affirm the second element these are pero but mas however sino but rather sin embargo nevertheless however no obstante regardless antes bien on the contrary con todo even so mas bien rather that fuera de apart from excepto except salvo except for menos but mas que even if however much antes before que no I repeat the conjunctions once more. Pero, but, mas, however, sino, but, rather, sin embargo, nevertheless, however, no obstante, regardless, antes bien, on the contrary, con todo, even so, mas bien, rather than, fuera de, apart from, excepto, except, salvo, except for, menos, but, más que, even if, however much, antes, before, que no. Let us now see the examples. Pero, but. Example, estudió mucho, pero no pudo aprobar el examen. I repeat, estudió mucho, pero no pudo aprobar el examen. In English, he studied a lot, but couldn't pass the exam. Next sentence, with más. Más, without accent means but or however it is generally used in poetry or formal text let's see some sentences carlos tiene un coche mas no tiene carne de conducir i repeat carlos tiene un coche mas no tiene carne de conducir in english it is translated as Carlos has a car, but he doesn't have a driving license. Sino means rather, but. And let us see some examples with Sino. No es rusa, sino ucraniana. I repeat, no es rusa, sino ucraniana. She isn't Russian. But Ukraine. Let's see another example. No queremos dinero, sino que pases más tiempo con la familia. I repeat. No queremos dinero, sino que pases más tiempo con la familia. In English, it will be translated as We don't want money, rather, you should pass more time with family. Sin embargo, nevertheless. Let's see some sentences. Dice que no come mucho. Sin embargo, se ha engordado demasiado. I repeat. Dice que no come mucho. Sin embargo, se ha engordado demasiado. In English, 
He says that he doesn't eat much. Nevertheless, he has become too fat. No obstante also means even so, however, or regardless. Let us see a sentence with no obstante. Tenía dyslexia. No obstante, aprobó todos los exámenes. I repeat, tenía dyslexia. No obstante, aprobó todos los exámenes. In English, he had dyslexia. Even so, he cleared all the exams. Antes bien, rather, on the contrary. Let us see some examples. No les grites a los niños. Antes bien, sé cariñoso con ellos. I repeat, no les grites a los niños. Antes bien, sé cariñoso con ellos. In English, don't shout on the kids. Rather, be loving to them. Al contrario, rather. Let us see some sentences. No llegaron tarde. Al contrario, fueron los primeros en llegar. I repeat, no llegaron tarde. Al contrario, fueron los primeros en llegar. In English, they didn't arrive late. On the contrary, they were the first ones who arrived. Con todo, which means even so. Let us see some sentence with con todo. La película es muy buena. Con todo, se podía haber evitado algunos errores. I repeat, la película es muy buena. Con todo, se podía haber evitado algunos errores. In English, it is translated as, The movie is very good. Even so, some errors could have been avoided. Más bien means rather. Sentence, Papá no se encuentra contento. Más bien, se le nota enfadado. I repeat, Papá no se encuentra contento. Más bien, se le nota enfadado. In English, Papá is not happy. Rather, he seems to be angry. Next sentence. No me parecen chinos. Más bien, coreanos. I repeat, no me parecen chinos. Más bien, coreanos. In English, they don't seem to be Chinese. Rather, Koreans. Fuera de, except. Fuera de Anita, todos los demás habían suspendido en el examen. I repeat. Fuera de Anita, todos los demás habían suspendido en el examen. In English, except Anita, all the others failed in the exam. Excepto, except, sentence. La tienda se abre todos los días, excepto los domingos. I repeat. La tienda se abre todos los días, excepto los domingos. In English, it is, the shop is open on all the days, except Sundays. Salvo means except. El terremoto ha impactado en todo el norte de la India, salvo en Punjab y Delhi. I repeat, el terremoto ha impactado en todo el norte de la India, salvo en Punjab y Delhi. 
the English version is the earthquake has impacted the whole of North India except Punjab and Delhi. Menos also means except. Sentence A mi me gustan todas las frutas menos la papaya. I repeat A mi me gustan todas las frutas menos la papaya. In English I like all the fruits except papaya. Now let us take up the conclusiones subordinates. As mentioned earlier, these are conjunctions that connect two clauses or sentences, the second being subordinate to the first or primary clause. Types and examples of conjunciones subordinantes. First, conjunctions of place. These indicate the place where the action happens. Donde, en donde, a donde, por donde, etc. Estoy dispuesto a ir donde me pida usted. I repeat. Estoy dispuesto a ir donde me pida usted. I am ready to go wherever you ask me to go. Let us take another example. El serpiente salió por donde había venido. I mean, el serpiente salió por donde había venido. In English, it is translated as the serpent left from where it came. Next sentence is El lugar a donde van ustedes es muy bonito. I repeat El lugar a donde van ustedes es muy bonito. In English, it is translated as the place where you are going is very beautiful. Next is conjunctions of time that express the idea of the time of the action. Such conjunctions are mientras que, cuando, antes de, después de, enseguida que, etc. I repeat, mientras que, cuando, antes de, después de, enseguida que, etc. Let us now see some examples. Antes de comer, le agradezco a Dios por la comida. I repeat, Antes de comer, le agradezco a Dios por la comida. In English, it is translated as Before eating, I thank God for the food. Let us see more sentences. Después de terminar la clase, el profesor Se fue a la reunión. I repeat. Después de terminar la clase, el profesor se fue a la reunión. In English, it is translated as After finishing the class, the professor went to the meeting. Another example is Tengo que llegar a mi casa. Antes de que comience a llover. I repeat. Tengo que llegar a mi casa antes de que comience a llover. In English. I have to arrive home before it starts raining. Another sentence is. Vamos al mercado. Cuando tu hermano 
vuelva a casa. Allí vamos al mercado cuando tu hermano vuelva a casa. In English, it is translated as We will go to the market when your brother returns home. Another sentence is Enviaremos la ambulancia en seguida que nos llames. I repeat, enviaremos la ambulancia en seguida que nos llames. In English, it is translated as We will send the ambulance as soon as you call us. Next sentence. Queremos salir de la sala de clase antes de que llegue el profesor. I repeat. Queremos salir de la sala de clase antes de que llegue el profesor. In English, it is translated as We want to leave the classroom before the professor arrives. Next sentence. Hasta que tú estés en esta casa, no puedo vivir en paz. I repeat, hasta que tú estés en esta casa, no puedo vivir en paz. Till the time you are in this house, I can't live peacefully. Let us see another example. Mientras que se afeitaba, Escuchaba a la radio. I mean, mientras que se afeitaba, escuchaba a la radio. In English, while he was shaving, he listened to the radio. Next example. Tan pronto como lo supe, informé a la policía. I mean, tan pronto como lo supe, Informé a la policía. In English, as soon as I came to know about it, I informed the police. The conjunctions are vital for any language learner at the advanced level so as to create complex sentence structures. We shall continue the same and cover some more conjunctions in the next module as well. Thank you. Gracias.